I'd like to take a moment to discuss a question we get a lot in the office. What's the big difference between a scandium tube and a regular aluminum tube? Eastern has spent a lot of time and money researching scandium tubing, and we feel they make one of the best scandium tubes in the industry. The main difference between a scandium tube and an aluminum tube is the amount of area that's affected by what's called the weld zone. Normally, on an aluminum tube, you would have to stop the budding profiles, maybe around here, because when you weld the frame, it affects the aluminum in, in its metal matrix structure. But scandium is very resistant to heat, so it allows us to move the budding profile much wider out onto the frame because the heat affected zone is much smaller with the scandium tube. Also, scandium tubes, because they are 30% stronger than an aluminum tube, allows us to use much thinner walls throughout the tubing structure. Again, the main thing is with scandium tube is it gives you the rigidity of an aluminum frame, but also some of the compliance and suppleness that you'll find in a steel frame. Now, is it as supple as a steel frame? No. We like to kind of compare it on a scale of one to 10. An old school aluminum frame would be a one, and a fine steel hardtail frame, maybe made out of 853, would be a 10. The scanning frame kind of falls around a seven. It's comfortable, it takes some of the edge off, but it still has the rigidity that you're looking for in aluminum for fast acceleration and great durability.